Paimon remembers everything! And this was all the dream. <laughs> Good. You adapted quickly this time. We definitely took off our Akashi terminals last night, but we still heard that beep. Why is that? <sighs> but now we can at least confirm one thing. The Akasha definitely has something to do with whatever's trapping us in this cycle. Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Why would the Akasha go this far if all it wants is everybody's wisdom? It's extremely difficult for lab rats in an experiment to understand why they're being treated the way they are. If we're lab rats, then what are you? Nahida, you've never told us anything about yourself. Hmm... I guess... I'm the moon. The moon? Wasn't that the result of our divination? Anyway, knowing who I am won't help you get closer to the truth. So you should focus on other things. Don't get distracted and miss any clues. <sighs> okay then. Dia helped us a lot yesterday, so let's go find her. If Paimon's reading the time correctly, those kidnappers should be showing up soon. Wow. Really? You're using CG? When was this? You have any idea how this could help the game? Ah, there you are. I've already taken care of those kidnappers. My lady, did you get hurt? What? Huh? Dia? What's wrong? Why are you both gawking at me like that? Oh, so she doesn't... So they do have a, like a model for her when she gets injured. Again, quality game. In some aspect. You... You didn't get hurt this time. Huh? What do you mean this time? Why are you so surprised that I managed to get out unscathed? Those kids were amateurs. Oh, wait, I, I can get it. Because after so many times, she actually got used to her new weapon. Shh! How did you know about my greatsword? I haven't told anyone about it. Please, don't tell Miss Dunyarzad. So Tia's lost her memories after all. Anything strange? You already know that I got a new greatsword. Hmm, if I had to say something, it's weird how such a new weapon could feel so... familiar. It's as if... I've already used it to fight a countless number of battles. That's right. Both mercenaries and warriors heavily rely on muscle memory. Only knowing the theory of battle won't get you anywhere. Traveler, what do you think? Yeah! Paimon's feeling really hopeful! Oh, you're right! Earlier in the Samsara, something like this would have never happened! I have no clue what you two are talking about, but it's still dangerous here, so... So you want us to take Dunyarzad somewhere else to rest while you check if there are still more kidnappers around, right? How did you know what I was gonna say? Can you read minds? Uh, forget it. Go and do your thing. Time. Aside from Dia not getting injured, everything seems to have stayed the same. Hmm. 
Listen, Nahida. We found out that Dia got out just fine today, even though she got injured every other time she fought the kidnappers. Do you think the samsara has been broken? Have we saved Dunyarzad? Really? Good job on all that progress. Get some good sleep tonight. Hey! What kind of an answer is that? Tomorrow will come. Everyone assumes this is common knowledge, but the only way you can know that for sure is if you experience tomorrow. How many todays has it been? Is it possible that today will be followed by yesterday? Does tomorrow truly exist as anything beyond a made-up concept? It's even possible that this entire world is a lie, and the history of the whole world has just been one endless sub festival. Okay, okay, no more! Paimon's brain is already shut down! <laughs> That's why it makes no sense to waste your energy thinking about things you will learn tomorrow. Get some good rest. You know, use the bathroom and flush your anxiety dookie away. Huh? Huh? Hold on, what did you just say? Did Paimon hear you correctly? I have that recorded. Huh? People always say they feel a sense of relief after they take a duke duke. That's why I suggested you could try that. Is that so strange? Are <laughs> you really? Okay, she is gonna be the child uh, gender. Is this already? Six or seven times already? Nahida, you already knew last night that we didn't break out of the Samsara? Why did you tell us? <laughs> Would there have been a point? You that spent the night with new worries, with tomorrow still out of reach. In that case, you might as well rest within that brief moment of hope. An opportunity like that doesn't come by often, and I thought it might help you clear your minds. You two have been everything to me. Uh, Paimon's flattered and everything, but maybe you're taking things a little fast. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, even though I had asked you to solve this puzzle, you two are still the only ones who can see me and sense my presence. In other words, if you weren't here, I may as well not exist. That's why you two have been everything to me. Get it? Nahida's talking about confusing stuff again. Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. So, Traveler, did the new clues yesterday help you gain a new understanding of the situation? Huh? Why are you scrapping your previous theory? Oh, yeah! You're right! Gosh, how did we not notice that? In a simple time loop, people's physical conditions should also reset. So, what's your new hypothesis? The moon illusion. We've already experienced the Subzerus festival many times. Okay. Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis. The beep is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night. Even... Th 
Mercenaries rely he- If all our memories of a day are erased at the end of that day, then we would unwittingly relive the same day again and again. memory can't be erased. That's why Dia has been getting better at using her greatsword. Now everything makes sense! Hmm, a brilliant deduction. Nahida, tell us if we're right or wrong. To put it simply, it's as if you've mistaken a pyro crystal fly for a firefly in the night. You lost sight of its true nature because you focus too much on your perception that it glows. That isn't simple at all! Why don't you go talk to Miss Dia again? You might learn something new. Right! She did help us find our latest clue after all. Let's go! There you are. Really took me a while to find you. As expected, Dia also didn't get hurt today. Get hurt? Why would I? Don't underestimate me. Well, you're still getting used to your new greatsword. Huh. Truth be told, I also think it's pretty strange. It just suddenly felt so familiar in my hands and... Uh, wait a second! How did you know I got a new greatsword to begin with? I didn't tell anyone about it. Explain the situation to her today. Paimon's gotten a little sick of doing it. Oh, that works! What happened to you guys while I was gone? Did you get brainwashed by some cult? Think too hard about it. Just take what we're saying at face value. All right, then. Let me get this straight. You're telling me that my body's already gotten used to this great sword, but my brain just doesn't remember it? Yes! Your memory's being erased every day! Then I'd have to disagree. That's impossible. Oh? Why do you think that? If we've actually been reliving the Subzerus Festival day after day, then what happened to the things we used? The money we spent, the food we ate. Common sense says my wallet should have emptied itself a long time ago. There's no way I wouldn't have noticed that. Akasha to record what everyone did that day, and then use the city's resources to replenish everything! It's not very likely, but it's also not impossible. No, it is impossible. I've got proof. You have proof? Where? <sighs> you two are surprisingly serious about this nonsensical discussion. Fine, I'll play along for a little longer. Come with me, Miss Dunyarzad. Please come along as well. I still can't guarantee that this area is safe. Paimon can't believe it's Dia who wants to show us something this time. Two days ago, we were the ones taking her to see Dunyarzad.
This is it. Huh? This is the wooden training dummy. What about it? See those marks on the dummy? Those are the result of several days' worth of practice. Let's say the sages didn't replace it every day. Shouldn't it be hacked to pieces by now? That's true, but what if they did? Then the sages would have had to reproduce every mark I left during previous training sessions. I'm a professional fighter. My martial school has always emphasized the importance of refined control. The force, angle, and entry point of each strike is calculated and deliberate. That's why I remember every mark on the dummy, as well as my state of mind as I made each strike. It's just as they say, each swordsman has their own unique style, and even the same swordsman can't make the same cut twice. It would be impossible to copy these marks. Is it really impossible? What if they use some fancy machine to carve every single mark? People often say that a camera's photo can never replace an artist's painting because the former has no spirit to it. The same thing applies here. At a mere glance, I can differentiate carved marks from the results of combat training. Whew, I hope that cleared things up for you. Hey, is this that new brain exercise game that's been super popular with the scholars lately? It's surprisingly fun. Anyway, it's getting late. I should escort Miss Dunyarzad to Nilu's stage. See you later. Whoop! Back to square one. Is our memory deletion theory also wrong? <sighs> but at least we've reached some other conclusions in the meantime. Yep, that's true. So... Can we think of any new ideas right now? Strange? Paimon feels like everything's been strange lately. Huh? Leaving the city? You're right! It's really strange how we never thought of such a simple solution! Many things should become clear if we can confirm the flow of time outside of the city. Paimon can't believe it! Did we miss this because we're tunnel visioning too hard on our other theories? Or because we're just too tired? How about we go back and ask Nahida? Maybe we've forgotten something about leaving the city. Nahida, we're back! You're back early today. Did you find something new? Sort of. We're mostly sure now that we're not in a time loop. And we also aren't in the real world. But at the same time, we have a new question. Hmm, leaving the city. As far as I remember, you've mentioned your plans to do that twice before. We did? But we don't remember anything. What happened after we talked about those plans? What did we say when we got back? <sighs> Let me think. I don't think you ever actually told me what the outcome was. Oh, it's probably more accurate to say that both times, you never came back the whole night. But you two sometimes stay out the entire night anyway, so at the time, I didn't think too much about it. It is true that sometimes we lose track of time during our investigations. Before we know it, it'll already be the next day. But still, neither of us remember anything about leaving town. Really? That's kind of strange. In theory, I should have already awakened all your memories. Yep, something here is definitely fishy. Let's get to the bottom of this tomorrow. Traveler, aside from your memories that were just restored, I have another message for you. 
Listen to it and you'll understand. Why did the Tangri? There are countless spaces here. Our Subzerus festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. Again, I'm actually shocked that we actually talking. Traveler, you should be missing two days worth of memories. Paimon will fill you in. It's time to carry out our plan from yesterday. I don't know why, but I bet after this Alcon quest, my brain is gonna hurt. Trying to make logic of all these illusions. Okay, let's go! Why can't we leave the city? What is the academia up to now? Don't ask me. It's not like I can tell you anything. This is a direct order from the Grand Sage. Just wait until tomorrow. I have a real emergency. My goods have already arrived at Port Ormos. If I don't hurry, they'll be stolen. That's your problem. Make sure you make a request in advance next time. But, but it's not like you can just predict business matters in advance. <laughs> It looks like the Academia already announced a lockdown for Sumeru City today. How completely unsurprising. Let's go and question them. Oh, hello, sir. Why can't we leave the city today? Here we go again. Don't ask me. I don't know either. We just received an order that no one is allowed to enter or exit Sumeru today. They didn't tell us anything else. Angering me won't get you anywhere. If I had that kind of insider info, I would have left this stupid post long ago. It looks like he really doesn't know. If we can't get anything out of him, let's take matters into our own hands. Why don't we climb over the walls? Those guards can't be everywhere at once. This is a good spot, and the guard hasn't noticed us at all. Let's hurry! Huh? Why? Are you going to leave Paimon behind? But, but what if things get really weird out there and you get into some trouble? Then Paimon won't be able to help you. Oh, Paimon knows that Paimon can't do much, but we've always been together, haven't we? Okay, Paimon will wait for you. Promise Paimon that you'll come back as soon as possible. Just a quick look. And please, be careful. about Paima. She has to be the unknown goddess. That's kind of the plot twist that I bet we all expected. But in the same time, there's these tiny moments when you can see that something's off with her. I mean, you really can expect me to go to all this game, to all the events and read the index. I mean, 
Everyone is okay with Paimon being a flying thing. Consider that there's nothing like anywhere. I gonna say. <gasps> okay. Paimon will forgive you. The most important thing is that you didn't actually disappear. Oh, Paimon was so scared that you had gone into another world. Okay. Paimon, can you tell us your perspective of what really happened yesterday? Hmm, I see. Using two people's different perspectives. After that, you left the city. Paimon kept her eyes on you the whole time, but then you... disappeared in an instant. <laughs> 